Hey guys, what up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in this tutorial video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make these 3D screenshot effect with Vegas Pro 17. Now, I honestly don't know what this effect really call, but I've been received a lot of requests to do this effect because a lot of you guys asking how I do the introduction to my YouTube channel page where my uh, YouTube channel page uh, coming into the frame of the video and then have some this uh, cool 3D effect where the media itself tilt and then shift to one side and give it some perspective look uh, into the video itself. All right, so you can do this effect in any version of Vegas Pro that you're using and there's no any plugin is required. All right, and uh, you can do this effect uh, on videos as well on still image which is a photo right so the first thing here um, I have my video here uh, my main video here on the timeline and I got the second video on top of my main video here which is let's just say uh, my YouTube channel here I want to advertise my YouTube channel on the video so instead of just showing a straight jump cut into this page uh, I can make it come into frame and have it some 3d um, effect into the media itself all right so the first thing that you want to do is to convert the layer into 3d source alpha you click this composite icon here and click 3d source alpha once you select 3d source alpha and you click track motion you can see now the layer have a top left and front uh, controls where you can play around to give it some perspective 3d look all right, so this is the first keyframe. If I click that, uh, make sure you enable the sync cursor that, so that the cursor in this timeline will move along with the timeline cursor here. So um, let's just say I want the uh, effect to start off from here or the my YouTube channel to be appearing at this part. I just drag the media over here and then I add my first keyframe indicates that's the starting point. And you can delete the, uh, the the original keyframe in the beginning of the positions and I want this thing to appear from the bottom so I'll just bring it down just like so and probably I'm gonna scale a bit up so that it won't leave some empty space on the side here bring it all the way down and I want it to come into the frame maybe a few frame forward and add another keyframe which is this one this is the second keyframe and uh, you can reset it to default where it's to, to original place but if you play back it will coming into the frame sort of like this is a simple slight in transitions but we want that 3d effect so all you have to do now you can see you got the y and x axis now if you hover your mouse between y or x you can actually have some uh, perspective edit here on your media so let's just say I want it to tilt a bit forward and tilt it a bit to the um, right, sort of like this. Okay, and then just readjust it until you like how your media looks like. And probably you want to zoom in all the way in because once you tilt and shift your media, you're basically shrinking one part of the video or the photo. So you may need to zoom in to your media. So keep that in mind. So when you're dealing with some zooming in here in post, you're actually reducing the quality. So if I play from the beginning of the keyframe, let's just reduce the preview quality. Uh, it should appear something like that. Now this is too fast. So I'm just gonna increase the length from start to beginning, from start to end. And you can now see some 3D effect start to come in place. And again, you can play around with the uh, the uh, keyframe speed. So maybe the first keyframe I put it smooth, the last one too slow. And then all the way to the end of the media, I can make it even more tilt, sort of like this. Maybe not too much, just like so, and zoom it a bit more. Give it some depth put it all the way till the end so if I play from the start to the end it will have this kind of 3d look 
to your media so that's how we do this 3d screenshot effect here with vegas pro software now if you have any question related you can just leave it down in the comment section and i'll try my best to help you guys so see you guys next time